Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call Lee to the stage. He's been waiting a long time. Hello everyone. First I wanted to say it is an honor. I've, ne I've never stood in front of people after coming before so many amazing artists. I, I want to give them a round of applause. Anybody could give me to send, knowing that all these other people have read before. The first one I'll do is one of mine. It's short. A lot of my inspiration comes from riding on the train. People do the craziest things, on the train. and there was a student carrying a book called Anatomy and Physiology. Anatomy and Physiology. Sexual curiosity driven by hormonal discordance and deep-seated avoidance. You know, someone famous said, the wind that blows is all anybody knows, but you ever want to feel something that gets your insides jumping? Just touching and tasting and wanting a play thing and looking for more without care and keep score. That warming glow. Feeling on feeling of wanting to know and hearing within that primal din that's aching to find a way out of my skin. This next one is borrowed by a pretty famous poet and one of my favorites. His name is Shel Silverstein. Some of you might have heard it before. It's called The Perfect High. There once was a boy named Gimme Some Roy. He was nothing like me and you. Cause laying back and getting high was all he cared to do. As a kid he sat in the cellar, sniffing airplane glue. And then he smoked banana peels when that was the thing to do. He tried aspirin and Coca-Cola. He breathed helium on the slide. Until his life became an endless search to find the perfect high. But grass just made him want to lay back and eat chocolate chip pizza all night. And the great things he wrote when he was stoned looked like shit in the morning light. Speed made him want to rap all day. Reds laid him too far back. Cocaine rose was sweet to his nose. But the price nearly broke his back. He tried PCP, he tried THC, but they never quite did the trick. Papa's nearly blew his heart. Mushrooms made him sick. Acid made him see the light, but he couldn't remember it long. Hash was a little too weak. Smack was way too strong. Booze just made him stumble. Quaaludes made him cry. Till he heard of a cat named Baba Fats, who knew the perfect time. Now Baba Fats was a hermit cat, lived high up in Nepal. High on a craggy mountaintop, up a sheer and icy wall. Well, hell, says Roy. I'm a healthy boy and I'll crawl or climb or fly till I find that guru who'll give me a clue as to what's the perfect time. So out and off goes give me some Roy to the land that knows no time. Up a trail no man could come to a cliff no man could climb. For 14 years he climbed that cliff. Back down again he'd slide. He'd sit and cry, then climb some more. Pursuing the perfect high. Gritting his teeth, coughing blood, aching and shaking and weak. Broken and tore, bleeding and sore, he reaches the mountain peak. And his eyes blink red like a snow blind wolf, and he snarls. The snarl of a rat is there in repose. And wearing no clothes, sits the godlike Baba Fats. What's happening, Fats? says Roy with joy. I've come to state my biz. I hear you're hip to the perfect trip. Please tell me what it is. For as you can see, says Roy to he, that I'm about to die. So for my last ride, please tell me how can I achieve the perfect tie? Well, dog my cats, says Baba Fats, another burnt out soul, who's looking for an alchemist to turn his trip to gold. 
And it isn't in some dealer's stash or on some druggist shelf, son. If you would find the perfect tie, find it in yourself. You jive motherfucker, says Roy. I've climbed through rain and sleet. I froze three fingers off my hand, four toes off my feet. I braved the labor of the polar bear, I tasted the maggot's kiss. Now you tell me the highs within myself, what kind of shit is this? My ears, before they froze off, I heard all kinds of crap. And I didn't climb for 14 years to hear your sophomore rap. And I didn't climb up here to hear that the high is on the natch. So you tell me where the real stuff is or I'll kill your guru ass. Okay. Okay. You're forcing it out of me. There is a land beyond the sun that's known as Zavali. A wretched land of stone and sand where snakes and buzzards scream. And in that devil's garden blooms the mystic Tsutsu tree. Now, once every ten years, Tsutsu blooms one flower, bright as the Key West sky. And he who eats of the Tsutsu flower shall know the perfect time. For the rush comes on like a tidal wave and hits like the blazing sun. And the high, it lasts forever. But the down don't never come. But Zadley Land is ruled by a giant that stands 12 cubits high. And with eyes of red in his thousand heads, he waits the passerby. And you must slay the red-eyed giant and swim the slimy sea. For mucus beasts await to feast on those who journey by. And if you slay the red-eyed giant and swim the slimy sea, well, there's a blood-drinking witch who sharpens her teeth as she guards the tsutsu tree. To hell with your witches and giants, says Roy. To hell with your beasts of the sea. Well, as long as the tsutsu flower still blooms, hope still blooms for me. And with tears of joy in his sun-blind eyes, he slips the guru of fire climbs back down the mountainside, pursuing the perfect time. Well, that is that, says Baba Fats, sitting back down on his stone, facing another thousand years of talking to God alone. Yes, Lord, it's always the same. Old men are bright-eyed youth. It's always easier to sell them some shit. And it is to tell them the truth.